the war rages on overseas, it continues to push gas prices higher here at home. The average gallon of gas in Syracuse now a dime more than the national average, so we are paying on average $4.41 per gallon now. News Channel Line's Madison Moore says it's hard hitting to volunteers for a vital service relied on by some of our most vulnerable. It's a service hundreds of homebound Central New Yorkers rely on each and every day. For some, they would eat very poorly. For others, they would not eat at all. And Meals on Wheels of Syracuse has been meeting the demand in our community regardless of the hurdles, including the latest astronomical gas prices. I know it's a shock for our volunteers. And in fact, I sent out a constant contact just a couple of days ago once it got over the $4 range saying uh, we recognize this is a burden for you. you know, we hope you will stick with us because we can't do it without you. With 32 routes to cover every single day and up to 16 stops on each route, hundreds of volunteers are delivering meals each week with their own car and their own gas. I worry about losing volunteers. I also worry about uh, the motivation of getting new volunteers because people might hesitate because of the cost of uh, gas. And the increased gas prices are also driving up the cost of food. Meals on Wheels seen an 11% increase since last year. It's probably going to go up even more, and that impacts us all as well. So it's like a double whammy for us. It's affecting the volunteers that we depend on, and now we have to pay more for food. But they're not planning to take their foot off the gas anytime soon. We find a way to get uh, around those hurdles, so we'll do it again this time. Ensuring those in need aren't left behind. In Syracuse, Madison Moore, News Channel 9. Kaufman says luckily they have not lost any volunteers yet because of the gas prices, but they're always looking for more people to help out. If you're interested in volunteering, we have all the information for you at localsyr.com.